Now it's time for Zach and you to practice with Cogenate FS with Bioset. Remember, whenever you are preparing to reconstitute and infuse factor, you must be sure to wash your hands with warm soap and water before you begin. And always make sure you are working on a clean, flat surface. Also, if you are using a Cogenate FS with Bioset demonstration kit to practice, remember that the powder vial does not contain active factor VIII and should not be infused. You saw how easily Jennifer used the Bioset needless reconstitution system. Now Zach will show you the steps on his own and you can practice along with him. We're also going to add some simple do's and don'ts this time through. There aren't many, but we want to make sure you get all the steps down pat. Remember, prepare, activate, and transfer. First, make sure you have the items you need to reconstitute using Cogenate FS with Bioset, which are Cogenate FS with Bioset Powder Vial, Diluent Filled Syringe, Plunger Rod. Place your vial, syringe, and plunger rod in front of you. Remove the vial cap by grasping the vial in one hand and with the other hand, gently moving it from side to side while at the same time pulling upward. This movement will break the small plastic tabs that connect the cap to the base of the device. Next, pick up the syringe and inspect the tamper-evident seal on the tip cap to ensure that it is intact. If it has been broken, do not use it and contact Bayer Medical Communications. The toll-free number is shown at the end of this video. Carefully separate the tip cap from the syringe by holding the syringe close to the finger plate in one hand while removing the tip cap with the other hand. Connect the pre-filled syringe to the powder vial by screwing it onto the top of the vial, finger tight only. Be careful not to over tighten. Now, prepare to activate the system by placing the vial on a solid non-skid surface. This is the most important step in the reconstitution process. Hold the vial firmly with one hand. With the other hand, place your thumb and forefinger on the finger plate of the syringe and press down on the finger plate until the bottom meets the top of the powder vial. You may see a bit of diluent enter the powder vial, indicating that there was a vacuum in the vial. Remember, as we pointed out when Jennifer demonstrated the reconstitution steps, this activation step is the most important step in the PAT process. If the finger plate is not pushed down firmly enough, the transfer of the diluent will be incomplete, the system will not be fully activated, and the product could be destroyed and unusable. So always double check that the bottom of the finger plate is resting against the top of the powder vial. If you can see a gap, push the syringe down farther. After you have practiced this once or twice, it will become second nature. Next, pick up the plunger rod by grasping it at the top. To keep the plunger sterile, do not touch the rest of the rod when you handle it. Continue to hold the vial so that the bottom is flat on the non-skid surface and connect the plunger rod immediately to the syringe by screwing it clockwise into the rubber stopper. Then, press down slowly on the plunger rod to inject the diluent into the powder vial. Pushing too hard may cause foaming in the vial. If foam does appear, wait for it to settle before you continue. Mix the diluent and the powder completely. Do this by gently and slowly swirling the liquid around. Do not shake the vial. Next, Inspect the vial to make sure there is no particulate matter in the liquid and that there is no discoloration. Then, with the syringe and plunger rod still attached, smoothly draw all of the solution into the syringe. The appearance of air bubbles is not a reason for concern. To guarantee that you have transferred all of the solution, tilt the vial to the side and back so that any remaining solution is drawn into the large opening in the rubber stopper. Finally, disconnect the syringe from the empty vial by unscrewing it, counterclockwise. You would then follow your normal infusion procedure. 
Bayer recommends that you use the butterfly infusion set that comes in the grab-and-go package. It includes a built-in filter, which helps save time and ensures precise, complete filtration. Congratulations! You and Zach have just reconstituted Cogenate FS with BioSet. It was pretty simple, right? Reconstitution with Cogenate FS with BioSet is safe, easy, and fast, with less than half the components used in conventional vial-to-vial -vial reconstitution systems. The people at Bayer recommend that you practice reconstituting until you feel confident in your ability to perform all the steps correctly. And remember, Bayer has demonstration kits available that do not contain active Factor 8 product that you can use for practice. For more information, contact your local Bayer representative. If you still have questions on a particular step, start the program from the beginning and watch it again. You can also check the steps in the Cogenate FS with BioSet User's Guide. If you need to pool vials, a detailed demonstration follows immediately. All of us at Bayer are sincerely grateful that you have entrusted your recombinant Factor 8 replacement therapy to Cogenate FS with BioSet. We're working hard to make sure you have a safe and convenient means to administer Cogenate FS.